Uh, paint, name, and photograph will back out of that menu. Um, what are the other options? Are there other options? Assemble, go to the assemble menu. Nope, okay. Assemble, paint, photograph, and hanger, that's it. Or set up, paint, photograph, and hanger. Okay. Alright, well, let's do another mission. Not at the arena counter, at the mission counter. But... Story demo something something? Mm -hmm. Clear a mission? Okay, well, I'll clear a mission. Alright. Let's see how this goes. And do not press the triangle button, it sells all your things. Square will, I think, pick the things you don't want and dump them, but... Oh, man. We've seen the launch sequence once. We'll wait to show it again until I've upgraded myself, which hopefully will be after this battle if I don't dump all my parts again. Oh, man. Oh, well, this is the nature of the flail-through. You learn as you go, and you'll make mistakes. Oh, I got the Victory Gundam's Beam Saber. Okay, what else we got? We've got some regular and Master Grade Victory Gundams. Here's the thing, though, with... Okay, it's a Gelug Jaeger. Here's the thing, though, a Victory Gundam at Master Grade should be maybe the size of this, of this mobile suit. Because, oh man, they are beating us up pretty hard. Especially me. But, yeah, Victory Gundam... The idea is that, okay, R1 does seem to still summon your sundered mobile suit parts. But no, when they were working on Gundam F91, Gundam F91 was the victim of a variety of cutbacks. Um, F91, can I have my head? Thank you. Gundam F91 was originally supposed to be an entirely new Gundam series. And it didn't happen. Let's see. Okay, it said hold R1. Okay, it's tap R1. But uh, it was supposed to be a series. It got cut back to where it was then going to be an OAV series, you know, direct video shorter than a full Gundam series, but that was about the time that the bubble economy in Japan went up. So F91 got changed from a series to an OAV series to a single movie that only covered the uh, plot, the story arc of the first like quarter of the F91 show. Victory Gundam Head. Whatever was over there, I got it already, so let's start getting things. And let me heal myself after this, because I've taken some damage. Okay. But the other cutback was that originally they had designed a set of mobile suits for... They, again, because the economy is not great, they wanted to make the mobile suits smaller, so originally, as I understand it, the plan was that they were only going to make 1144 scale mobile suits. That isn't what wound up happening in the end. In the end, they took the mobile suits that had been, the model kits that had been designed as 1144 scale and sold them as 1100 scale. So, Victory. Basically, the idea was that, you know, miniaturization. Uh, had made mobile suits smaller and more efficient. But because of that, and because Victory followed suit, that means that if they were actually in scale, the Victory Gundam and F-91 mobile suits uh, at 144 scale should be tiny compared to an RX-78. I mean, there'd been a certain amount of, of size increase leading up to that. Zeta Gundam things are about the same size, maybe a little small, larger. Char's counterattack mobile suits are significantly larger. A couple of meters, but it adds up. I'll be Gundam Hexa in that backpack, that's what's hitting me. But, uh... 
yeah, so that was also that's also what led to uh, Gundam Wing and Gundam X mobile suits being slightly smaller than Universal Century mobile suits from you know most series because they wanted to save a little bit of money, but they didn't want to go quite as crazy small as F91 wound up being. So, don't take my word for it. This is all lore for I learned like 20 years ago. Man, it is almost 20 years since I got into Gundam. That's terrifying. But, yeah, it's, you know... And, of course, a lot of stuff in the early fandom I have to remember was based on, you know, untranslated things or rumors and not, you know, and not solid fact. And, I'll, and some of it probably based on Japanese fan rumor, as you know, because, oh, every fandom builds up its lore, believe me. One of the great urban legends of Transformers fandom is that there's a cut of Transformers the movie where Optimus Prime crumbles to dust after he turns gray and dies. Um, this is, of course, not true. No such thing has ever been seen. Probably, pe you know, probably people are misremembering the Optimus Prime's death and, and combining it with the coronation of Starscream who, after being shot by Galvatron, does indeed crumble to dust and die. Um... It's one of the hardest things on Earth to, to cope with, is to realize that your perceptions and your memories, the only way you have to experience the world and filter it, are flawed. They lie to you, they edit, they compress and what you remember is not necessarily exactly what happened. And that is one of the things, getting older, that has really been... Oh, Sumo's neat. Really difficult for me to uh, get a handle on. Sumo's and Kapool's, so... Welcome to the turn A stage. So I think I have an idea of who we will be fighting as the boss here, probably. But yeah, I've, you know, it took me a long time sometimes to realize that I've misremembered things. But after talking to other people, enough other people, and realizing that basically everyone else remembers something differently than I do. Oh, wow. That was some kind of freezing attack. Interesting. I just kind of had to accept it because... Ah, unfortunately, consensus reality is the only reality we've got. Oh, the G-Self. I was expecting turn A. Neat. Let's do some shooting. Charge my meters. Here it is. Let's tackle it, which does a lot of uh, super armor damage, it seems like. So, and now that that's down, cross slash time. Okay, this time... We will not be uh, abandoning, any, abandoning our parts if I can help it. Okay. Got it. Got its beam rifle. Got its arms. Uh, I will have to figure out exactly what the uh, controls are so I don't give up any more parts, but I know triangle isn't it. Okay, so 18,000 ace points, another 20k... And I've got some new uh, new EX actions. I've got Bullet Force and Biasic Slash? No, Piasic Slash. Oh, no, excuse me. P.S. Shingu, Piercing Slash. So, pardon my complete katakana fail there. Okay, so I've got three of the... Uh, three of the uh, uh, Victory Gundam's uh, beam sabers. Let's see, I'm not quite sure what that means, but I've got Victory Gundam and G-Self's beam rifles. I might switch to the G-Self's just because it's kind of neat looking. 
I've got a Victory Gundam Head at level 3. Be putting that on. Level 2 Torso. Level 3 Gelgug Jaeger Arms. That sounds like a winner. Victory Arms at various levels. Uh, G Self Arms as well. Which... Invisible Titanium? Okay, that's one of its abilities. And the other is Photon Battery. Okay. Sure, whatever you say. Uh, legs, Victory Gundam. G Self's Flight Pack. It's only level 1, so it probably doesn't represent any change in it over anything else. And another 48 plastic, so. And yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm just going to back out. And if there's a way to sell excess parts from the other menu, I'll try it there.